Hello everybody, this is Fred Burke with TotalFinancialLiberty.com. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about other wholesalers and uh, tying up your deals. Um, I've talked to a few students today on the phone and via email who have had uh, deals that um, they want to go ahead of course and assign their contract and they're running into other wholesalers who want to do the same thing. Now, <clears throat> you have to understand that doing a double close is hard enough. Doing a triple close, I've heard of one or two. Um, I don't know anybody personally has pulled them off, but I've read about it on, on Tim's site and a few other sites, but uh, you know they're not the easiest thing in the world to do. Um, so when you have a property under contract, uh, if you have an option on that contract, make sure that you have a closing company that is going to be able to close your deals um, your assignment deals and your uh, double closes so make sure you have an investor friendly title company that you can use uh, I spoke to somebody earlier that uh, wanted to use uh, that said they didn't have one and they have a deal and the person who wants to uh, write the deal up wants them to use their uh, closing company so um, you know if you can make a little a few thousand dollars off a deal um, very quickly for doing very little I say go ahead and do it but you have to be really careful who you're dealing with uh, you're promising a seller that you're going to be able to sell his property uh, his or her property so for one thing you have a sort of a responsibility to the seller to keep your word to do what you said it is that you would do so um, you know I always say going into this thing don't promise anybody anything but uh, tell them you'll do the best that you can but when you are filling out a contract and you have another wholesaler calls you or comes out to see the deal and says that he wants to go ahead and write it up and write you a contract well then the way I do it is I take a non-refundable deposit whether it's to be held by me or the, within the escrow I don't care but you know there's going to be a non-refundable thousand dollar deposit paid to somebody where if he does not act and close on this deal within the time frame that he said that he would uh, that thousand dollars is mine that's not going to him um, so I prefer to take it for myself so if I'm getting a six thousand dollar assignment fee I'll take a thousand dollar or a two thousand dollar non-refundable deposit uh, written to me and I'll write the balance up on the assignment contract as four thousand dollars so for example if it's sixty six thousand dollars I negotiated with the seller sixty thousand dollars I negotiated with the seller and I'm selling it for sixty six and another investor comes along and says okay I'll pay the sixty six thousand dollars okay that's fine well and good here's my assignment contract let's go ahead and write it up now if he doesn't want to use that contract and he wants you to use a state contract that's fine also but there's a few things you have to watch for first of all you want your thousand or two thousand dollar non-refundable deposit and the balance to be paid to you at close so whether you have to put that in special provisions that's fine but you wanna you wanna be sure on a few things the closing costs who's paying these closing costs what have you negotiated with your seller first of all um, you know because normally sellers they have closing costs that they're responsible for so what have you what have you negotiated and touched on with your seller as far as closing costs go um, if you're saying you're gonna buy the property for sixty thousand uh, is he going to cover his end of the closing costs, or did you negotiate sixty thousand dollars cash net to him, and he's going to walk away with sixty thousand? Uh, you have to be really, really careful on how you worded this and how you put it in the contract. Um, the couple of the, the students that I spoke to today said they didn't know, um, so realistically, they didn't know what they could do. So if they negotiate sixty-six thousand dollars or sixty thousand dollars with the seller, six thousand dollars is their assignment fee, so they're getting sixty-six thousand dollars from this other investor um, you know who's paying all the closing costs who's paying for the survey who's paying for the uh, the title policy who's paying for the uh, appraisal if an appraisal needs to be done uh, you have to make sure that you're real sure on who's paying for what and be very clear because this could blow a deal for you especially if you're on a tight uh, frame if your uh, assignment contracts only good for two weeks or three weeks you have to move quickly so if you go and you deal with another investor who simply doesn't want to and, and this is how you're gonna weed them out when I deal with an investor and he comes to me and he says okay I want this property um, what do I have to do well the first thing you have to do is you have to cut me a check 
and I want a check for a thousand dollar non-refundable deposit made out to me or my corporation and it's going to say non-refundable deposit and he's going to get a receipt uh, saying non-refundable deposit with the address on it and lot and block and all that stuff referring to that property so if he backs out of that deal he knows he's going to lose a thousand dollars second of all the reason why I do that is is because a lot of these guys are just they're just wholesalers just like what you're doing there's nothing wrong with being a wholesaler but fact is they're gonna try to go find somebody else to buy your deal and when they go and do that that you're talking about a triple close then you gotta close your end you gotta close his end and his buyers end. so that's gonna be a hard deal to close and um, you know I had one student today that told me that uh, the uh, person who worked for a big company here in Houston uh, said he did not want to do an assignment contract that he did not have a closing company that did assignment contracts and that made no sense to me at all so uh, I'd be a little bit leery of him uh, as I told her um, I'd really watch myself with him and what's he gonna put in the track contract who's gonna pay for closing costs who's gonna pay for a survey who's gonna pay for all the things that come up in a closing you know my deal is if I tell my guy sixty thousand dollars and he's getting sixty thousand dollars cash I'm gonna ask him or I'm gonna tell him you know there's gonna be closing costs on your side how much well I'll try to figure it out the best as I can if he says well no then I'm not gonna go for it then I know that what he wants is he wants sixty net so I have to raise the price to say sixty five and then I have to ask for seventy or seventy one to get my money out of the deal so you have to be really careful and be really sure what you negotiate with your sellers and also with your buyers so be real careful and always always be upfront with your sellers and cover every aspect so nothing can go wrong to you know keep the deal from closing again this is Fred Burke with FM with excuse me with total financial liberty dot com um, total financial liberty can be yours all you have to do is go out and take it and make it happen take action and pull the trigger we're here to help you uh, again www.totalfinancialliberty.com and until the next video I'll talk to you then